everybody welcome back to my channel my name's rachel and this is stitched up so yeah wow i am blown away by all the amazing comments i've received on my last video that i put out last week after my little break and so yeah thank you for everybody who's commented or sent me love or whatever and i'm really sorry if i haven't acknowledged your comment yet i've had a little bit of an issue with youtube it seems in that when I'm trying to scroll down and work my way up through all the comments to um, read them and like, etc., etc., I can only get so far and then it's freezing. So if I've not seemingly acknowledged your comment yet, please bear with me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my computer. Anyway, you might notice that I've had my hair done. Um, I had it done on Tuesday and I will be honest with you, I like the cut because she's put some few layers in the bottom, so that's quite nice. But... The colour is not quite what I had in mind. As you know, I was growing out all my grey and it's still looking, I suppose, a little bit grey at the roots, but um, what she said was that underneath at the back, the grey was very dark, totally different to how it looked on top and I've just totally smushed up my hair now, haven't I? And what that actually meant was that because it wasn't a uniform colour, she had to put like a grey toner on at the roots and pull that through. Um, but what I wanted, I will insert a little picture up here of actually the, the kind of look that I'm going for with, as regards the colour. And as you can see, that's a fairly, fairly white blonde. And um, yeah, this is not that colour at all. It looks like I've had highlights put in again. So she hasn't actually dyed it. She's just put a toner through it. And, you know, I've been doing that myself. And so I wasn't very happy. My um, actual hairdresser is on holiday. At, no, she's not on holiday. She's on maternity leave at the minute. And she's a fabulous girl. And she's been doing my hair for a, quite a long time now. Um, and so I did get in contact with her about it. I did let the hairdresser know who was sort of filling in for her at the minute. That, I, you know, it wasn't exactly what I wanted. You see Pluto there in the background. He's deciding to sit on some fabric, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, yeah, and um, so basically I um, got in touch with my hairdresser and she said, no, 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 that won't do at all. Go back and have it um, have it redone. Sorry, Pluto is really distracting me. And um, yeah, so I need to sort that out, but I'm back at work now. And so I haven't been able to sort that yet, but it's it's okay. It's just not as nice as what I wanted it to be. Anyway, the reason I'm back with you today is because I thought I would show you my plans for August. Um, and there's also a little bit of a fabric haul in there as well, which you can see just under Pluto. There's a few bits that I'm going to show you today. Um, it's actually my wedding anniversary today. I've been at work, um, yeah, 22 years that me and Martin have been married. And um, that's quite scary, actually. So, uh, so yeah, we're unfortunately not celebrating it in any way shape or form today because I've been at work all day and I'm just waiting for our dinner to finish cooking and um, for me and my son my husband is at work till nine o'clock tonight and then I'm back at work tomorrow well he is as well so for the weekend so that's that but I have started my new job this week which is really nice I am really really got a really good feeling about this one um, it's a lovely GP practice that I've joined as a nurse practitioner and uh, they're really nice really supportive the senior partner in the GP practice is really lovely and wants to work with me on a project on pain management which is fantastic so I'm really hoping that this one fingers crossed is going to go to work out so uh, before I show you what I'm going to make this month I thought I'd tell you what I'm wearing I've actually got a little Lisa Comfort cardigan on um, which I got in the sale uh, last year, I think it was, when she did one of her 50% off sales because there's no way, sorry, that I would pay £40 for one of these, but I think I got it for 20 which was a bargain. Um, and I'm wearing a little Maria Denmark Kirsten, is it the Kirsten T? I think it's called the Kirsten T. Um, it's a free pattern. I will link to it down below so you can go check it out, but it's a really nice pattern for a very quick jersey top. Um, this, you will recognise the fabric if you saw my vlog last week because it is the jersey remnant that I had from the kilo dress that I made and uh, yes yeah, so I've been wearing this today with just some ready to wear linen trousers for work which has been lovely. So let's crack on with my plans for August. Now I have actually picked out a few patterns and fabrics for August 
however, then have been sidetracked, sidetracked during the week while my daughter was here because we went fabric shopping. Um, and she's going on holiday with a friend next month and decided to buy some fabrics and con me into making her a few bits and pieces for her holiday. So I've now got that on top of the plans for a few bits and pieces for myself to think about as well. So these plans are a little bit fluid as to what I'm going to do because obviously I've got a little bit of pressure with what I'm going to do for my daughter but I will we'll come to that in a bit. So the first things for myself is I am focusing really really on basics and by basics I mean tops because I am really short on tops. Um, I've got lots of casual sort of t-shirts and um, things like that but as we're sort of transitioning now into autumn it's starting to feel in the UK especially in Yorkshire, very, very cool in the morning and cool in an evening. Um, but we've still got some lovely sunny days. So all those gorgeous summer dresses that I've made over the summer are now tucked away. I don't think they're going to see the light of day again this year. And I'm wanting to sort of think more about separates, really. So having said that, I am thinking about a couple of dresses, and we'll come to that a little bit later, which I think I can wear with tights and boots, but it's just not quite tights weather for me just yet so I have chosen this pattern that I've had in my stash for eons basically and I bought this originally for the skirt because I thought it was very much like the cascade skirt by Megan Nielsen which came out years ago um, I've never made it up um, but actually what I'm thinking of at this moment in time is this top because I really like this this simple shape and I'll just bring it in close so you can have a look. So it's the Simplicity 1366. And yeah, it's a very simple shape. But what I like about this is, it, is it's designed for woven fabrics. And I, I just want a simple, loose fitting top that I can make out of loads of my woven fabrics. Um, and the fabric that I've chosen for that is not very interesting, I'm afraid. It's just this. Very simple um, jacquard fabric. I don't know if you can see the print on that. I've had this in my stash a while and in fact I used some of this for the lining of my V9253. I'll put a picture of it up here. Um, and I've got this remnant left over. I think there's probably about a metre. It's 60 inch wide. It's just in a nice ivory colour. I think it's quite polyestery, but you know, it's going to be worn in winter, so it's going to be fine. Um, but I like, if you can see the texture on there, it's got a lovely print to it. I got this from the textile centre. I don't think they've got it in stock anymore, um, but you can always just have a look on the website. But it's got a nice drape to it, as you can see. And yeah, it's not a real real sort of um, out there print or anything, but I think for a, a, a top like that, that I can wear for work, is going to work really well. So that's my plan. Um, to make that out of that and if it works i'm going to make another one out of this lovely viscose that i've got so i got this from minerva crafts and again it's just a plain um viscose fabric but this is actually coming up on screen quite blue and it's more of a steely blue i would say in real life um again it's just a plain but it's, you know, it's those plain tops that I want to go because I want to make some nice skirts with some of my printed fabrics. And I'm thinking, you know, they're going to need plain tops. So I'm thinking of getting some plain black and navy viscose as well so that I can make some more. But um, I've just pulled this one out of my stash because I thought that would be quite nice. So, yeah, I'm planning to make that top twice if I can. I'm hoping it'll be fairly quick. Um in the ivory and this blue. And just for something a little bit more funky, I have this pattern here. Now, um, I will insert a picture of it up here if I can find it, but this essentially is a pattern that I made at the start of when I started sewing a few years ago. And it is a pattern by Lauren Guthrie that was free in a sewing magazine. Um, I think it was in her book that she produced when she'd been on the Great British Sewing Bee and it's basically a yoke top so it's just a um, sleeveless top with a yoke neckline and it's got um, sorry a high neckline with a yoke and it's got a button 
back at the top. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it in here. Um, I haven't got the instructions for it because it was in the magazine, but I'm thinking that I can probably figure out how to put this together. And I'm gonna make it out of this lobster linen viscose that I bought from, I think I got it from Like So Amazing, I think, a few months ago now. And it's gorgeous, I really love it. Um, I've made that yoke top before, so I know that, that how it, you know, how the fit is and everything. But I think that would be quite nice just to wear with some plain trousers. Um, and I could, I think I could get away with it for work. Um, but I really like that. So yeah, I'm going to hopefully get that one made up as well. And then finally, to, oh no, I've got another one to show you after this one. The next one that I want to get made up is this one, the Fibre Mood um, top. I can't remember the name of it actually. Francis, that's it. This picture you can't see very well, so I'm going to insert a picture of it here, but if you remember, I did make this out of a coral with gold spot double gauze that I got from Higgs and Higgs a few months ago now, and I said that I was going to make more of this top because it's really nice. I wear it a lot, actually. I wear it for work, and I wear it in casual, casually with jeans, etc. as well. Get loads of wear of it, so I want to make it again, and when I went down to London back in May, and met up with the lovely JJ from the Camden Stitch and she took me along to Race Stitch, I think it was. And I bought this lovely metallic double gauze from there in this green with the silver metallic and I love it so much and it's just been in my stash since. So I'm gonna make the fibre mood top out of this as well. Um, yeah, so that's my plan for some simple tops. Now, I also want to make a shirt that I can wear sort of more casually. I don't know if I'm gonna get this done though, um, but what I'm thinking about is the, so over at Alex shirt, I've made it a couple of times. I, well, I've, I've made the shirt dress twice and the shirt once before. Um, and I tend to wear the shirt more than the shirt dresses. Um, but I found this lovely cotton lawn in my stash that I've had for about three years now. This is really pretty. Um, this is a black and white floral print with um, butterflies on and flowers, as you can see. It's really pretty. If I bring that in closer, you can see that. I got this from Indian Royal Treasures from eBay. I, d I really don't think they will have this anymore because this was obviously a few years ago. And I think I've got about three metres of this. And originally, I think I'd planned to make some um, pyjamas out of it, some sort of summer weight pyjamas, and it's just sat in my stash. But um, I really want a white casual sort of shirt and I like the Alex shirt. I think it's it's a nice fit, it's nice and loose, nice and casual. Um, and so I've picked this out of my stash to use it up. As I say, there's three meters of it, but this is only 14 inch wide. So I'm probably gonna need a little bit more um, than the pattern states anyway. But yeah, so that's my plan for my tops for August. And let me now take you to the fabrics that my daughter bought a couple of days ago when we went to Walton's in, where is it, Goldthorpe, I think it's called, which is near Barnsley, which is in South Yorkshire. And Walton's is a fabulous shop. They don't have, unfortunately, they don't have a website. It is um, a physical shop and they have a Facebook page, but I don't think you can, I don't think they do mail order either. Um, but it's about 35 minutes away from me by car and I love it. They sell lots of dancewear, um, swimwear fabrics, really reasonably priced and loads of dressmaking fabrics as well. And they are really, really, really reasonably priced. I love going there. So anyway, my daughter had decided that she wanted a bird print fabric because she wanted me to make her a kimono jacket and I've got a simplicity pattern I'll put it up here I've made this one before myself so she really likes that so she chose this um this is a stalk print as you can see and it's just a crepe I think it's a crepe it's got a crepey texture to it I don't know if you can see that very well um I think it was four pounds a meter so she's got two and a half meters of this it's just been washed so it might look a bit creased um, and um, it's quite lightweight and drapey as you can see but I think that will be lovely for her for a kimono that she can take on holiday um, so yeah so I'm going to make that up for her and 
next up she wanted she wants a shirt dress as well and i've decided that well we've decided between us that the alex shirt dress will be fine for her so she's bought this lovely pinstripe cheesecloth fabric um it's a cotton cheesecloth as you can see in this lovely blue and white stripe this was three pounds a meter so again, I think she's got two and a half or three meters of this. And I'm gonna make her the Alex shirt dress out of this so she can take that on holiday. Fortunately, she's tried on mine and they, they fit her okay. That I just need to shorten them because she's about three inches shorter than me. Um, but otherwise, that will be fine for her too. And she decided also that she wants me to make her a two-piece swimming costume. Now, I have not actually made a swimming costume yet, but obviously I have made a sports bra before, so I'm thinking it's going to be very similar. Um, I do have a swimming costume cut out, ready to sew up, but I haven't got around to it yet, like lots of things. So we had a look at patterns, and she's decided on the Vanazza swimsuit or bikini whatever it's called from friday pattern company i'll put a picture of it up here um so i've bought that pattern on pdf and she chose this gorgeous it's fabulous four-way stretch lycra swimsuit fabric from um waltons and this was eight pounds fifty a meter so that gives you an idea of how reasonably priced they are because these kinds of swimsuit fabrics are normally about twice the price um so yeah so she's got this gorgeous blue fabric i think she um she was just going to get a meter because that's all it needs for that two piece but there was about another half a meter on the bolt so they've given her that free as well so i'm going to steal a little bit and make myself another sports bra so yeah so she's chosen this and we also got some of the power mesh lining because walton sell that as well so that's going to be the lining for it which is going to go quite well and she also got some swimsuit elastic so hopefully um, what i'm going to do is i've got some off cuts of lycra that i've had before some remnants which she's we've measured her up and i'm going to have a go at doing a twirl of it first because i want this one to fit her really nicely for her holidays and so yeah i'm going to twirl that first and then hopefully next time i see her she can try that on and make sure it fits okay or if we need to make any adjustments to it and then um yeah we'll see how how the real thing goes so i'm looking forward to having a go at that and yeah so there i think that's everything for her so that's quite a lot of things isn't it and i don't think well i know i'm not going to have the opportunity to get all of those things done in august some of those will be we're not in august are we we're in september oh my word um yeah okay so september we are in september and yeah these plans are going to probably lead into october but fortunately she doesn't go on holiday while i think it's the 22nd of october so i've got i've got time i've got time and i do have a week off the first week in september i think it is no the first week in october oh my word um yeah the first week in october i have off work so i will be able to get some of these bits and pieces for her done then i think okay so moving on to what i bought for myself in um in waltons they as i say they have some amazing fabrics and i saw these gorgeous jerseys now these are panel jerseys um if i just put this up the right way look at this this is just beautiful so this is a panel it feels like it's almost got the drape of a viscose jersey but oh gosh sorry um right it's almost got the drape of a viscose jersey but it um it drapes really well but it's a little bit thicker than a viscose jersey it's got a silky feel to it as well and as you can see it's a panel print if i just bring that all the way to the bottom so you can see that i'll bring it in a little bit closer so you can have a look and i'm trying not to wave this around too much because i know a few of you obviously get a little bit seasick with having to look at some of these fabrics but it's an oatmeal background with this gorgeous floral design on it um, so I've got a panel of this, which is probably about a metre. And my first impressions was to actually make a top from this. This cost, I think, again, I think this was £4.50 for the panel. Um, having said that, I have received my copy of Sew Today magazine 
today when I got in from work and if you subscribe to Sew Direct, I'll leave the link down below, then you get a copy of Sew Today which is sent out quarterly. I'm going to do another vlog I think about this quarter's magazine because I've just had a quick flick through and there's some lovely patterns in there. Um, and this fabric features in there as well because I think Croft Mills sell it but they sell it at £6 a metre and as I say, £6 a panel sorry and I bought this for £4.50 and their suggestion is to make a skirt out of it and it is actually weighty enough for a skirt so that's got me thinking it's really got me thinking so um, yeah, I think a straight skirt you know, just sort of midi length out of this would actually be quite nice with maybe a um you know we're picking out a plain top out of that purple color because i love purple it's my favorite or even the greens or the blues you know uh, let me know what you think do you think that would look better as a top or a skirt i'm thinking a skirt now um yeah so i got that panel and they also had this panel print in as well which i love um again it feels very much similar fabric um, this one is plain at the top and then you've got these gorgeous sort of um, meadow style flowers that are at the bottom of it. Um, again, this was £4.50. I don't know if I've already told you that, but I'm just repeating myself if I haven't. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful fabric. Really lovely. Nice weighty, um, weighty fabric. Again, I'm thinking maybe a tunic style top for this because I don't, think a skirt would be okay unless I lined it because of this being so um, pale at the top. I don't think it's particularly see-through but I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing that colour straight against my underwear shall we say. So I think maybe um, and obviously a, just a normal top I think you'd lose a lot of the print at the bottom um, so I think maybe a long line tunic top that you could wear over sort of skinny jeans I think would be quite nice. I haven't really got any patterns for a long line tunic, although I have actually, I've got a, bir a birder one. Um, yeah, I'll have to have a think about that one, but let me know what you think. I think that's so gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so they're the two jersey panel prints I got. Um, they were also selling this Panama suiting fabric that they call, which um, is, does it have any stretch in it? No, it doesn't have any stretch, but it's a tiny bit of give, and I loved this colour, I think it's gorgeous. This was £3 a metre, it's just beautiful. And I am planning to make a pair of McCall's paper bag waist trousers out of this. I will put a picture of the pattern up here so that you can see. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. I mean, you can see how lovely that sort of hangs. And I just think the slim leg version of those trousers, maybe just ankle length, would look really lovely with a nice sort of knitted jumper um, for winter or a roll neck top or whatever, black. So yeah, I got three meters of this because as I say, it was only three pounds a meter and I don't think I'll need all that to make those trousers. Um, so I might have a little bit left over, but yeah, three pounds a meter for this. It's beautiful, an absolute bargain. So really, really pleased about that. And then I, the reason I actually went was because I wanted to pick up some, like a, a hound's tooth. Well, no, not really a hound's tooth, but like a, maybe a Prince of Wales type check fabric to make those paper bag waist trousers from and they didn't really have exactly what I wanted but I did see this and thought this would be lovely um, and this is it here this is the fabric it's gorgeous and this is actually a Tommy Hill figure linen and silk blend trouser weight fabric and it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it feels amazing it's got a lovely weight to it again the plan is that i'm going to make those paper bag waist trousers the slim leg version out of this it's gorgeous if i can just bring that in again so you can see it a little bit better you will be amazed when i tell you how much this cost this was five pounds a meter yeah five pounds a meter for silk linen silk is it, did I say linen silk? Linen silk, yeah. It's just, it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Quite often they do have some ex-designer fabrics in there. They've had um, Hobbs fabrics in before. Um, what else have they had? Um, they've got, they get Liberty linings in. 
again at really bargain prices um laura ashley fabrics so yeah they've had they've had some amazing ones i think i've had um oh gosh ted baker fabric from them before as well so and they are just fantastic prices so yeah so i really like this i thought this would be lovely for a pair of trousers for sort of to take me through autumn and winter um but uh, these the paper bag waist trousers are going to be a priority at the minute because i'm going to have to prioritize my daughters aren't i so that's that i think i got three meters of that and then finally the final fabric that oh no it's not the final one because when i was rooting around in the remnant bin and um, they quite often have lycra remnants and i found this gorgeous piece of ombre lycra this is again is a swimsuit lycra and i bought this piece i mean it's not very it's not very big that's obviously the the depth of it but it is a good 60 inch wide and I bought this with the thoughts of making another sports bra. Um, but actually, I may have enough there to make a little bikini out of. I'm not sure. I think I'm probably going to go for the sports bra. Um, this was £3 for this piece, which was just amazing. Um, and they had a little piece of the black power mesh in there as well, which I don't have any black power mesh. So again, it's not very wide, but these little scraps are perfect for making sports bras and lining swimsuits etc this was a quid one pound that's all it cost me so yeah that was a bargain too and then finally the final fabric that i bought basically i am going on the kittenish behavior sewing retreat again shan is running another one down on the isle of Wight at lyle coombe again next month and i'm going and i'm really excited it's going to be so lovely to see her again and to meet up with some of the peeps that went last time as well because i think some that went last time are going again it's going to be fantastic to meet up again and have a lovely weekend together so i'm really looking forward to that and like last time we had a gala dinner and we're having another one this time and i was thinking about what i wanted to make and i have had this pattern in my stash for ages another one this is simplicity 8013 um and i've wanted to make the, the this version for a long time but this takes so much fabric i think um on the back it tells you dependent on obviously the width of your fabric but for a 45 inch wide fabric you would need seven and three quarter meters and 60 inch is five five and a half i think um and i'm tall as well so i need to lengthen these so yeah it's it's been one of those things that has always been on the back burner but it's always been in the back of my mind that i want to make it and um i thought this is going to be the perfect opportunity it's going to be heading into winter october gala dinner will be perfect so my plan originally was to go with like a matte satin fabric uh, because it, this obviously requires drapey fabrics or like a georgette that kind of thing um, and I, I was looking around for something quite plain, but then when I was in Walton's, I spotted this. This is what Pluto has been floofing. Look at this. How beautiful is this? All these are little um, sort of crystals, diamantes and little stars that are um, sort of glued onto the fabric. I don't know how well that is. I don't know whether you can see the light reflecting off them there. But the base fabric is, um, obviously it's like a, a deep purple in colour. So I thought this would be perfect for the time of year. And um, the fabric itself has got a little bit of stretch in it one way. Um, but it feels like a viscose twill um, or a viscose lawn. I'm not quite sure what it is, to be honest, but it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. Look at that. So I bought... I wanted six meters of this because it is 60 wide so i thought that would be plenty to make that dress um and she cut off six meters for me and then she called me over while i was still browsing the shop looking at other fabrics to say that um there was a fault on when she she noticed when she'd cut it and the fault is just on one edge i'm trying to find it there's the fault there i don't know if you can see that so she found this little fault when she'd already cut it at the end um and there was only there was a meter left on the bolt so she's given me that last meter for free 
because of that little fault. So fingers crossed. So I've got seven meters of this in total and I'm hoping that the well, the will, there'll be enough because at least even I'll be able to get the sleeves out of that last meter if anything. But this is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I think it's going to be amazing in that dress. Um, so I've got to get that dress made. I've never made it before. I'm not going to twirl it. I'll probably just, I might just twirl the top and the sleeves, but I'm not going to twirl the rest of it. Um, the dress itself, if I show you the back of it, um, is it a wrap? I think it's a wrap dress. You only get the back view on there. Um, but I am going to make the version with the sort of um, bell sleeves or whatever it is they're called. Hang on, the phone's ringing. Right, sorry, I'm back. That's just my daughter on the phone wanting to speak to my son to find out how he got on at college because he's just started college yesterday. Eventful week. Um, yeah, so just getting back to the fabric. So, yeah, this is gorgeous. This is, was... Four pounds, four pounds a meter. So yeah, it's just a bargain, an absolute bargain. And uh, I've got seven meters of it. So uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm excited to make that. But um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to fit all this in. I'll, let's be honest. So um, yeah, I'm not actually off work now till Thursday next week. Um, so it's going to be a mammoth sewing day, I think, next Thursday. So, uh, so yeah, so that's all I've got to tell you really at the moment. What I'm thinking is the next vlog, I'm going to have a look at the Sew Today magazine and have a look at some of the big four patterns that are going to be out over autumn and winter. And I'll give you my thoughts on those. And also there's been a few indie pattern releases recently as well. Um, that I thought we could have a look at together and I'll let you know my thoughts on those as well. So I hope whatever you're doing and whatever you're up to, you enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you again really soon. Take care. Bye.